Welcome to the main three-year assessment proctor training video. Proctors of the main three-year assessment are required to watch this video, as well as the two assessment security webisodes on our webpage. Prior to signing the assessment security and data privacy agreement, which will be provided to you by your school or district assessment coordinator and kept on file for the academic year. Assessment schedules are determined by the school and district assessment coordinators. Please be aware when reviewing the assessment schedule provided by your assessment coordinator that it is not the expectation of the main DOE that every student finishes the main through year assessment in reading or math within one session or within one day. And so if additional time is needed by a student, it must be provided. Student needs should come first when scheduling the main through year assessment and proctors should never pay students. Students should be familiar with the assessment platform and question types, such as multiple choice, multiple select, and gap match. Students should also be familiar with the online tools available within the platform to all students. Proctors can help prepare students by having students answer questions in the item type sampler. Students can access the item type sampler either within the secure lockdown browser or by utilizing the online version, which can be found on our website. There are also PDF item type samplers that can be used with students taking accommodated paper-based assessments. It is important to provide an optimal assessment environment that is quiet, orderly, and comfortable. The room should minimize distractions and disruptions for students as they take their assessments. A do not disturb sign should be placed on the door to alert others not to interrupt. The student's workspace should be clear of extra books, binders, and notebooks. Main DOE recommends storing these extra materials under the student's desk during the assessment administration. If at all possible, students should be spaced apart so that they cannot easily see each other's device screens or paper test booklets. If space is tight, Main DOE recommends dividers or privacy shields. Students are not permitted to access any unauthorized electronic device used for communication or capturing images during the assessment. Different SAUs have different policies for the collection and or removal of student devices such as cell phones. Some choose to remove devices from the assessment room entirely, whereas others collect cell phones in a tub that is held by the proctor until the end of the assessment. And others have policies that preclude staff from holding on to student devices. These SAUs may require, for example, that the students store their phone in their backpack, which is then placed in the back of the room. Whatever the local policy, students should not have immediate access to a second device during the assessment administration. And if the students' phones are in the assessment room, please ensure that the phones are silenced prior to the beginning of the assessment session. Instructional materials that may provide clues or answers should not be visible in the room. Charts, posters, and desk tags can be covered or removed. A math reference sheet is available within the assessment platform to all students for the math assessment. If you prefer that your students have a paper copy of the math reference sheet, you can print the PDF located on our website. Translated copies of the math reference sheet are also available on our website. Be prepared to provide students with the appropriate accessibility tools and supports before the assessment begins. For example, headphones if the student is using text-to-speech. If your school assessment coordinator has not shared students assigned supports with you, do not hesitate to ask so that you know all students' needs are being met. Designated supports are available to students based on the following two criteria being met. One, a team of two or more education professionals with knowledge of the student's performance has determined that the support is appropriate for the student, and two, the support is consistent with the student's routine, classroom instruction, and assessment. Designated supports that need to be entered into the assessment platform by an assessment coordinator include the use of text-to-speech, small group or individual setting, bilingual word glossary for multilingual learners, and mathematical supports. Designated supports that you can provide your students without being entered into the assessment platform are assistive technology, medical devices, visual aids such as magnification devices, 
auditory devices such as noise buffers, directions clarification, and allowing the student to read aloud the assessment to themselves in an individual setting. Accommodations are available only to students with IEPs and 504 plans. Please note that human reader is only an appropriate accommodation for a student taking a paper-based test. Students taking assessments online who need the support should be utilizing the text-to-speech tool. Human reader for reading passages is an accommodation only allowed for students with a documented print disability in grade six and above. The IEP team needs to complete additional paperwork to be included in the student's file before the provision of this accommodation. No students in grades three through five should have the reading passages read aloud to them by a human reader. Assessment materials must be handled and stored securely. Duplication of assessment materials is prohibited, which includes audio taping, videotaping, photographing, photocopying, and handwritten copying. Login tickets and scratch paper should be returned to the school assessment coordinator to be securely destroyed following the assessment administration. Manuals and guides are not considered secure materials and can be discarded or recycled. Begin all standardized assessment administration procedures and read oral instructions to students exactly as indicated in the administration manual. Primary guidelines for proctoring include proctoring by proximity or moving about the room to monitor student activity. The proctor should be located in a position where they can see student device screens. Do not leave the assessment room unless another proctor is available to remain and observe the students. Avoid working on other tasks during the assessment administration, such as lesson plans or grading papers. If a student gets stuck on a word in the assessment directions, questions, or answer choices, you may read the word to the student. Pronounce the word, but do not define the word or help the student in any other way. Do not read words from the reading passages unless the student has the appropriate accommodation per their IEP. If a student asks for help answering a question, let the student know that you cannot help them answer the question and encourage them to do their best. If a student arrives after the beginning of the assessment session has already begun, they can still assess. For uniform assessment administration, an administrator or proctor should read the script from the assessment administration manual to the student as they log in. Afterward, the student can participate in the assessment with the rest of their student group. If a student needs to take a break during the assessment session, for example, to use the restroom or to refocus their attention, have the student log out of the assessment and close their device screen before leaving the room. If a student does not finish the assessment within the allotted time, they can return to the assessment later using the same test ticket. Simply have the student log out and collect the test ticket and scrap paper until they are ready to resume the session. Students must finish the assessment before the end of the six week administration window. At the end of the assessment session, please collect the test tickets and scrap paper before students leave the room. Students should understand that a score report will be provided to their parent or guardian and that the assessment results will be used by teachers and district staff to help improve student learning. Please encourage your students to make sure they understand and follow directions. Not discuss the assessment questions with anyone before, during, or after the administration. Respect other students during the administration. Do their own work and do their best. <laughs>